I have three recent Nike sneakers right in front of me. The question today is, are they worth the buy? What's good y'all, it's your boy Mike. Welcome to the Soul by Soul YouTube channel. Thank you so much for joining us today. If you like what you see in today's video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and also smash that like button. Today I'll be showcasing the Union AJK01, but I thought why not talk about some of the recent Nike releases. If you didn't know, we already reviewed this sneaker, the first Air Jordan 1 of the year in the true blues. So definitely check out that review. And we made a short on the Montreal Bagel Dunks. I thought that all of these were very dope sneakers that released this year, so I had to get my hands on them. If you're thinking about affordable sneakers, all of these should be under $200 at the moment of filming. The True Blue Air Jordan 1s, they released on February 14th for a retail of $180. But from what I've seen and heard on social media, you can still grab these at some Nike stores. The Montreal Bagel Dunks released on January 17th for $120, and they're definitely going for around that on a third-party site. And then the Union LA AJKOs, which we will dive deeper into because I think it's a very cool sneaker, intricate yet simple, this sneaker released on February 2nd on the Union LA site and then February 4th on the sneakers app for $150 and you're still able to get this sneaker for under $200. You know what? Let's talk a little bit more about the Union LA AJKO Low. So here they are in all their glory. The Union LA collab with Jordan Brand on the AJKO one low so first of its kind i already you know deconstructed this sneaker if you didn't know it comes with velcro checks okay so there was a gray pair and i'll actually just do this right here on camera that you can appendage to the velcro let me see here and then you can even tuck it under the heel tab so a lot of innovation, something different from Union. Look at me taking them off. And then there's also a blue pair of checks as well. I looked at this and for some reason, the gray color wasn't working with me. And I was like, hold on. On the Velcro, you see the UNLA repeating logo. And I was like, it kind of looks fresh with this showing versus the gray swoosh. I think maybe a cream swoosh, maybe a black swoosh would have made it stand out for me, but I think as is, that works. I want to point out that the upper is all white, I believe a canvas material. It's definitely like a pure white, um, so I think this is nice in the summertime. You know, I got to be careful about rocking it in the winter. At first, I also didn't know if I was going to keep but I think I'm gonna keep these. Something about them, and I have a good track record with Union, so I think I'm gonna keep these. You have the sort of off-white creamish laces, and then there's another pair of gray laces. I think I'm gonna leave it as is. On the tongue, it's actually exposed foam, so that's cool. A thinner tongue as well. And then of course, because it's Union, you have the little add-ons, the tag here that says UNLA. You have the little squiggly lines that are yellow on the front of the sneaker. And then you have the traditional Air Jordan logo on the back. Actually on the insole, you have the Union logo and then the Jumpman logo. So that was cool. They tend to do that mismatch on their sneakers. And then the outsole, as you can see, mine are already worn. You will see on feet of this sneaker, um, but the traditional, I think, AJ KO High outsole. The midsole, comes in this cream color and then as you see and i'll show you a closer look of this velcro of the inner lining being the unla logo so all together a clean sneaker it's not super complicated but i think they pay attention to details like with all their collaborations let us know what you think of these sneakers in the comments 
Thank you for checking out the closer look of the sneaker. I have all three displayed here. They really caught my eye for the top of the year. The heat, the bangers haven't started to flood in yet, but one thing I'm realizing is the sneaker market is going down. Maybe a Jordan 1 like this or a Dunk or a Union collab wouldn't have been at this resale price. So I think if you're interested in these sneakers upon release, go for them or even try to check them out on a site like Go or StockX to get them for a price that's very close to retail. We really appreciate you tuning in today. Stay tuned on the channel for more content from Soul by Soul. Be sure to follow us on the gram and TikTok at underscore soul x soul and subscribe to the channel. Like this video, y'all. Comment, let us know what you think about these sneakers and until next time, peace.